Hello everyone, we're here in Basel, Switzerland, wrapping up 2018 and getting ready for an exciting 2019. In 2018, we reimagined Novartis. We redesigned the company to be a leading medicines company powered by advanced therapy platforms and by data science and digital. We also had great operational performance with strong top line growth of 5%, bottom line growth and core operating income of 8%, strong free cash flow generation, very proud about our operational execution. But importantly, we also delivered on our five strategic priorities. Today, I'm here with Bertrand Botson, our Chief Digital Officer, Paul Hudson, our CEO of Novartis Pharmaceuticals, and John Tsai, our Chief Medical Officer and Global Head of Drug Development, to talk a little bit more about how we're advancing across these five priorities. And I thought maybe, Paul, you could uh, tell us a little bit more about how you felt about how we did on innovation in 2018. So we had a, an outstanding year. Over a million patients treated with Entresto since launch. Entresto, in fact, became a blockbuster. Uh, over 185,000 patients with Cosentix and over 130,000 patients with Amovig in migraine. Oh, that's great. John, I mean, did you have any other perspectives on, on the pipeline? Yeah, 2018, and especially the fourth quarter, was tremendous in terms of data readouts. First, we had the readout for brolocizumab for a neovascular age-related macular degeneration. In addition to that, we also had readouts in advanced breast cancer with alpelisib. This is the PI3 kinase targeted agent for uh, patients with advanced breast cancer. And European approval for Kiskali, and two additional approvals for our biosimilars, for pegfilgrastum, as well as for adalumumab. Yeah, when I look at our pipeline, I think it's incredible. We have 26 potential blockbusters right now in late stage development, over 10 uh, clinical trials and advanced therapies. But I really think we have one of the leading pipelines in the industry. Now, what about from a digital perspective? How did you feel like things went, Bertrand? It was a great year. I think it was the first year since we set go on going big on data and digital. Uh, we have probably about now 1,500 people uh, mobilized across uh, the organization. Uh, we have those 12 big programs that have been initiated now in full motion across the business. And maybe one note around the biome as well. I think this is really a signal to startups well, that we're open for business and to work more closely with them. The other thing we tried to really transform the company was, was culture. And, and Bertrand, how are you feeling about the culture coming from the tech world into Novartis? Well, it has been quite a year from that point of view. It's the, the natural appetite that we've seen across all the teams to really going, going for it. We launched a digital awareness hub to demystify what uh, data and digital is all about. But most importantly to me is also that entrepreneurial drive that we can, we start seeing. Yeah, we want to create that inspired, curious, uh, unbossed culture. The other thing we really focused on was on returning more to society. And Paul, I think in pharma, we've really done a great job with emerging market brands and other, other ways to really improve access. I think uh, we work extremely hard at trying to make sure we put the patient first, we put affordability first, and then we work with all multiple stakeholders. Gene therapy is a good example of that to make sure that we're right in the right spot for society. So now let's turn to 2019, which is really shaping up again to be an exciting year for the company. I wanted to ask the colleagues, what are you most excited about in, in 2019? Maybe Bertrand, do you want to start? I think 2019 to me is all about scaling. So I think we have a great foundations that we've set up all together this year, but how do we really bring those to the next level? That's, that's what we are for. And Paul? I'm excited about the continued work on innovation, uh, our commitment to culture, diversity and inclusion for sure. Um, but I'm also excited about the launches. We have Mason, of course, Bath. We're really excited what it'll mean for secondary progressive MS patients. The big Optha launch towards the end of the year. And of course, our move into gene therapy with SMA. And we're so close now. And that platform is going to prove itself to be incredible for patients. And just the beginning for us. We're building off of the Avexis acquisition. We're building out our platform in cell therapy with Kimraya and really building global scale there. And also our, 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 our sleeper, in a sense, our, our work in radio drug conjugates with, with Ludothera, AAA, and then we also acquired a company called Endocyte. I'm quite convinced that these three platforms will drive incredible growth for the company uh, in the future. And then John, I know we have some exciting readouts in 2019 as well. Yeah, it's first, we're going to see the results of Fevipiprint, an oral agent for all of those patients that need um, additional treatment for asthma. We also have Entresto looking at heart failure patients with preserved ejection fraction, as well as additional information in Cosyntix that's coming out uh, in the future. Also in oncology, we continue to have great momentum with multiple new blockbusters like Mechanist and, and Taflinar, as well as Jack V now approaching blockbuster status in the Novartis uh, territories. We're also quite excited about the launch of BYL. 
We're approaching the launch of SEG101 in sickle cell disease, and we continue to expand Kimraya, our cell therapy for multiple types of B cell cancers. So as we head into 2019, I feel really good about where we are. You can see we have a great leadership team. We have great momentum in the business. We have reaffirmed that we expect to grow top and bottom line for 2019 operationally. But I think most importantly, I'm excited about the continued cultural transformation we're making here at the, at the company. Thank all of the associates at Novartis for all of their uh, incredible hard work. Also want to thank all of our external partners, all the patients that participated in our clinical trials. Know that we are deeply committed to having a remarkable impact on healthcare around the world.